Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the government scheme session. The scheme that we are covering today, it is your Prime Minister Street Vendor Atman Nirbhar Nidhi and it has an abbreviation, it is a short form Swanidhi. So why are we studying about this scheme? Because see recently it has celebrated three uh, successful years so recently it has completed three successful years so that is why Ministry of Housing Affairs which is the implementing ministry of this particular scheme they celebrated it and uh, because it is uh, recently news so the, uh, that is why it has more chances of being asked in the examination so we'll talk about this scheme today but before starting here's an announcement for all the aspirants who are preparing for central regulatory bodies we have come up with one-stop solution guide to all the queries that you might be having the regarding uh, having regarding the organization that you would want to join for example, if you want to know about Na RBI and Nabad Sebi, what are their roles, functions and how do they contribute to India's economy. All things you can find it here along with different departments, what will be your role once you join the organization. Once that done, then you would get to know about the recruitment process. So all about recruitment process, how many phases are there, what is uh, what is the pattern of each phase, how many questions are asked, what is the previous year cut off for each section and along with that syllabus and uh, not only that but we also provide with six steps that you can follow to crack the examination in this very year only. So do not miss the opportunity. You can download these e-guidebooks free of cost from the link that is provided in the description box below. Now let's start and talk about the scheme. So basically who are street vendors? Street vendors are the ones who have uh, temporary structures. As you can see, these are the temporary structures which they have and these are movable, right? And whatever be the f goods or items that they provide as a service, uh, they just keep that in these structures and they move from place to place okay now they contribute a lot to the informal sector in urban sector if we talk about right uh, because they go to streets they go everywhere right and uh, they help the people to buy buy stuffs but what happened during COVID time so we have to keep in mind this scheme came during the COVID time and because see uh, the capital which these vendor have from which they buy things and then they further sell and whatever profit they get from that they have to take care of their family as well and as buy new stuff also right now what happened during covid because everything was shut down there was lockdown people people were not allowed to move in the streets because of that reason whatever a little bit of working capital they might be having okay they must use have uh, the uh, they have you uh, must use have uh, it has the normal consumption okay, for the consumption purpose that is why government they came up with this particular scheme so that they would get the immediate capital fund which is now required to again come back to their original track okay so this is all this scheme all about okay so this uh, is Swanidhi Se Samriddhi okay so this concept hai of Swanidhi scheme now the launch of this scheme it is 2020 and it falls under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs okay because it talks about the uh, street vendors in the urban region however even if they are living in semi or the rural region nearby vicinity of the urban areas that is not an issue right but if they have been registered uh, for in the urban areas as a street vendors they will be part of this particular scheme okay now because here we are we will lend them some loan so of course there will be some implementing agencies which will monitor everything right so implementing ministries ministry of housing and urban affairs but the agency that will be monitoring and keeping the track and everything of uh, how the uh, if the scheme has been properly implemented or not it is your SIDB okay SIDB is my aim that we have understood to provide an affordable working capital loan okay so here we are not just focusing them to have a capital loan but that should be affordable also what does affordable means first of all it talks about because when you have to take loan you have to provide some security to the bank right so this particular scheme is collateral free okay one thing is this another thing is even the interest rate that the uh, these street vendors would have to give back to the loan that will also be reduced because government will provide with some interest subsidy means government will bear some of the uh, rate of interest expenses okay so in this way this by a type of capital loan becomes affordable for the beneficiaries okay for their holistic development and economic upliftment so we have to economically uplift them again because whatever money that they had they might have utilized that during the covid time and they they need some support to uplift their economic uh, conditions right so uh, the this is the aim target beneficiary so this include all the street vendors engage in vending in urban areas even though they are living in peri uh, urban or uh, 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 rural areas but still the 
if they are engaged in this street vending in urban areas then they are eligible now there is a timeline also because here we are specifically focusing on uh, the street vendors who were affected during the covid time that is why it is being said the street vendors who were engaged in this activity on or before 24th of march 2020 only those will be uh, those can be part of the scheme now how they will be consider okay so every street vendor they have to register themselves in the state okay so one is this so they have the certification street vending certification they have apart from that if some people have not or they have still not been uh, gotten the certificate so they must have been in the survey so the, if their name is in survey that has been conducted by the respective department of the state then also on that basis they can claim the loan if not also that if if they are not even the uh, even in the survey in such cases uh, these trend uh, street vendors they have their association theek hai so means they just have to show some proof if there is a, if they are part of association right or if they have been some uh, if in survey or maybe if they were part of some package during the covid time where they have mentioned they were uh, they are street vendors right so any proof would do but they they should be street vendors on and before 24th march 2020 theek hai so uh, these are the target beneficiaries so tenure of this scheme has been extended to 2024 december 2024 initially it was till 2022 but then the government decided to extend it and now it has been in 2022 when we reached that timeline we decided okay it has to be extended till 2024 december type it is center sector means fully funded by or fully backed up by the central government theek okay? hai eligible states now here even if we are talking about all the street vendors that that are in urban areas but here is specificity of the states theek okay? hai so what is the specific specificity so basically there is a uh, protection act for street vendors the name of it is street vendors protection of livelihood and regulations uh, vending act 2024 okay so whichever state has uh, implemented this particular act in their uh, in their state only those states are eligible to be uh, participate under the particular scheme theek hai because in that basis only we get to know about the certification do they have or not if the service was conducted because if there is no such law no state would put this efforts to conduct a survey right so from there only we will get the authentic data that if the street vendors uh, were actually on that time that have been decided were they actually at that time street vendors or not theek okay? hai so beneficiary belonging to only those state which have this particular rules that have been uh, established in the state only such beneficiaries of such uts or state will be eligible theek okay? hai now here was a exception that was uh, uh, that was mentioned in uh, in your official guideline that is of meghalaya so meghalaya they have their separate their own state level act such type of act at state level theek hai so they were given an option if they want to be part of this or not theek hai so uh, this is about the eligible eligible beneficiary okay so here it has uh, also been written beneficiaries from meghalaya because they have their own state street vendor act they they if they want to participate they can theek hai now who will be the eligible lending institute so these are the name all scheduled commercial banks regional rural banks small finance banks cooperative banks we have non financial by uh, uh, financial companies micro finance or self help groups okay because in some uh, places as mentioned in the guidelines for example andhra pradesh or telangana there are not so much micro finance institutions but there is good hold of these self help groups right so that is why self help groups have also been added please keep in mind these are the limited ones here you cannot find uh, the names you cannot find it here those will not be uh, able to lend the money under the particular scheme theek hai objectives of the scheme kya hai to facilitate working capital up to rupees 10000 so how much loan uh, can the street uh, street vendor take collaterally please remember this term collateral free without giving any security government will give the security okay means government will back up that if in case beneficiaries are not able to pay back the loan government will handle uh, with paying back money to the bank theek hai so that is why it becomes collateral theek hai to kitna milega up to 10000 you can take for and you have to repay it in one year you will get one year time to give back it to the bank theek hai if the uh, if the beneficiary is able to do so if in year uh, duly payment has been done by the beneficiary in such cases they are eligible for the enhanced loan for the next time okay for the next year so one year will be 10000 after that 20000 rupees that can be taken and if that is also been given duly theek hai in that case for the next year 50000 will be given theek hai ab 50000 ke liye na inhone 36 months ka time limit diya hai 
because 10000 can be given in one year but 50000 will be a more amount for the beneficiary to uh, to pay back in a month right the, uh, in a year i am sorry that is why for them 36 months for 50000 36 months have been assigned ticket uh, this timeline has been assigned so enhanced loan so in second time they can take 20000 if they have paid the first one duly and in the third time 50000 they can do theek hai in the uh, on the repayment of earlier loan so whenever they have done they can apply for this theek hai incentivize regular payment through interest subsidy at 7% see of course if they are taking loan from the bank bank will charge some rate of interest and usually when you take loan the interest rates are very high it can range from 14% to 24% right so in such cases it will be a lot for the beneficiaries to give back and that is why government will provide with interest subsidy now how much percent will be it will depend on from which institution you have borrowed the money is it from scheduled commercial bank is it from re regional rural bank so that would depend from the uh, institution to institution so can't we we cannot actually give the range for it okay because it keeps on fluctuating and from banks to banks it differs right but whatever be the rate of interest that will be charged 7% the government will give back okay and how much uh, how it will give back it will it will give by uh, direct benefit transfer means they will directly transfer the amount 7% when uh, uh, beneficiaries would have to claim isko thoda aur detail mein dekhenge in the further slides theek hai so uh, government will directly transfer the money to the uh, beneficiary's account theek hai so it will not give to the bank it will directly give to the beneficiary account iske alawa government is also along with this is focusing on uh, uh, digitalization uh, Uh, digitalization right so for money and every purpose also so reward digital transaction if these street vendors they will promote they will promote and they will ask people uh, to do digital transaction instead of giving cash in such cases rewards will also be given to them so per year 1200 the, these street vendors they can actually gain by promoting digital transaction इन इन वट एवर थिंग दे आर सेलिंग ठीक है ना इसमें पर मंथ के हिसाब से फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर इफ फर्स्ट फिफ्टी ट्रांजेक्शन इज डन देन यू विल गेट फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड मीन्स फिफ्टी रुपीज अराउंड यू विल गेट देन आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी में सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा देन नेक्स्ट हंड्रेड में ट्वेंटी फाइव ऐसे ऐसे करके दिस अ टाइम लाइन सो बेसिकली ऑन पर मंथ बेसिस यू विल गेट फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके आर अप्रॉक्स एंड इन अयर समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पर ईयर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ठीक है ना की फीचर्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम क्या है हेयर देर विल बी नो पेनल्टी ऑन अर्ली रिपेमेंट ऑफ लोन यूजली इट हैपन्स दैट इफ यू आर paying your loan back way too early because that will also cause loss to the bank right because bank is actually getting the profit out of the rate of interest it takes right so there will be if there if the uh, beneficiary over here they will get, repay the loan way too early there will be no penalty on that theek okay? hai then on timely or early repayment the vendors are eligible for enhanced working capital jo humne samjha in the next cycle theek hai sidbi will manage the credit guarantee so credit guarantee for that monitoring implementation agency we have sidbi okay but a trust needs to be made for example what does it mean uh, basically a bank uh, we a government is assuring the bank that they will pay back the money okay so bank just can't trust on the words right uh, they can't just rely on those words so for that what is done a particular trust a fund trust is made by the government okay and money is being kept on that so even the bank they have assured to that okay they have some money uh, uh, taken out from uh, whatever expenses the uh, the government have so money have already been taken out so even bank have security that if something goes wrong they have the surety money is there right so they for that they have made this fund it is credit guarantee fund trust for micro and small enterprises theek hai mandatory documents to access benefits are uh, aadhar card and voter id card theek hai apart from that uh, ministry of housing and uh, urban affairs they have also launched socio economic profiling theek hai what will be done in, under this proper information proper profiling of the beneficiary of the family will be done why why it will be done theek hai this will be done so that whatever data is being provided on that basis whatever benefits they can actually avail the beneficiaries can actually avail okay those will be given to them theek hai benefits of the various eligible central uh, sector schemes would be extended to them wherever they will be eligible it will be they will be made aware about that and it will be extended to them and in fact under this one nidhi it is mandatory to be part of uh, your uh, jeevan jyoti bima yojana and suraksha bima yojana theek hai ye bhi mandatory hai iske andar so whatever are the benefits they will be provided once the socio economic profiling will be done theek hai now as i told you in 2022 this scheme was further extended till 2024 so there was some revision in guidelines also that were 
done however we have already studied it but we'll just look at it theek hai because this is one edi scheme 2.0 so that even if question will come there are more chances of in the ex whatever be the changes uh, revised guidelines are there uh, question will be from there theek hai to scheme period as we have understood it has been extended till 2024 from 2022 initially theek hai now it says credit guarantee and interest subsidy claim on all loans uh, all loans will be paid till march 2028 now you must be thinking why 2028 has been written because we have understood see for example in case of uh in case of uh 50000 loan we have understood theek hai usme 50000 mein humne kya understood kiya that you will get 3 36 months to repay right so if some person has taken loan in december 2024 okay so you have to extend 3 years to that theek hai to 3 years aapka kitna ho jayega uh, it will be in somewhere around 2027 theek hai so isliye isko thoda loan claim ka because if uh, if if in third year also if december 2027 somebody has claimed uh, their money interest subsidy so it will take some time to process right so that is why the amount uh, the time limit has been taken that whatever be the interest subsidy claims or on the loans or the credit guarantee will be taken care that will be paid till march 2028 theek hai itna tab ka time de rakha hai now nature of loan assistance kitna hai nature of loan assistance third loan we know this has been added in the revised guideline initially it was just 30, uh, 10000 but then it was later on added ki third लोन आपको अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मिलेगा विद रेपेमेंट पीरियड ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स मंथ्स ठीक है और सेकंड लोन आपको कितना होगा ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दर इज नो स्पेसिफिक मेंशन दैट हाउ मच मैक्सिमम टाइम इट विल टेक बट ये मिनिमम हैज बीन मेंशन दैट मिनिमम रीपेमेंट फॉर सेकंड लोन शुड बी सिक्स मंथ्स मींस इट मिनिमम सिक्स मंथ्स यू शुड टेक मैक्सिमम में देयर दे हैव नॉट स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन इट ठीक है सो आई डोंट थिंक देर विल बी क्वेश्चन इफ दे हैव नॉट स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन इट then we have interest subsidy so we have understood interest subsidy will be seven, at the rate 7% theek hai now how to claim initially before the extension before 2022 uh, this claim can be uh, the, the subsidy can be claimed quarterly theek hai and in fact now also to the people who have taken loan till 30th june 2022 of course they will be still under this guarantee cover because somebody has taken in 30 june 2022 2022 first time loan so till abhi 30th june 2023 तक he can pay back the loan right that 10000 he can pay back the loan we have understood one year it will take and whatever claim subsidy has to be taken they, they will still take ha na so whoever have taken loan till this timeline 30th june 2022 they can claim the interest rate the 7% interest rate, uh, interest rate quarterly theek okay? hai on quarter basis and to the ones who have after this date after 2022 till how much till december 2024 they will they can claim uh the this particular interest rate on half yearly basis okay this is has been mentioned in your revised guidelines okay a very short scheme yet important uh and uh, the, this is all about and uh, this is a scheme okay jo ki news mein thi and there are two important things that were mentioned isko thoda dekh lo ki in this particular program which was celebrated on just on 1st of june 2023 there pm swanidhi mobile app was launched okay one thing is it so that street vendors it ha they have ease of the loan application and they would also get to know about the uh, different benefits that they can get and about the scheme as well theek hai moreover a facility of udyam registration theek hai they can also uh, register for this theek hai and till now theek hai if you look at till now more than 36 street vendors across india have gotten the benefits under the scheme so this was the gist of the scheme and the news theek hai you have this homework in front of you try to attempt this theek hai and these are the toppers of last session rishab and rachit said the right answer congratulations and this is all about the scheme if you like the session kindly uh, kindly subscribe to our youtube channel you can also join our telegram channel to get the pdf of this and every lecture that we provide here on youtube so thank you everyone if you want me to cover any scheme do let me know and uh, i will meet again with another video until then all the very best for examination and thank you